Hare Krishna. So here's a question about human life. How much time does the Jivatma again get a human life after traveling through 84 lakh species, 8.4 million species? So Padma Puran mentions there are 84 lakh, 8.4 million types of species, out of which 400,000 for lakhs are human varieties. So these are different human consciousness from the lowest of the lowest cannibal-like, animal-like man to the most refined gentleman-like human being. Now, a Jivatma can take birth in any of these categories, not only human, in any other animal form. But how much time does he again take birth as a human? So actually, there is no definite amount. Now, there are some people who say that you only take seven human births. That's a lie. That's not true. This is an unlimited cycle. It's an eternal cycle, a never-ending cycle. But human life is the only life by which we can come out of the cycle. Animal life, you just have to suffer and go through the karma. Humans are the only ones who are liable to karma. Humans are only, only ones who can make karma. All the other forms spend karma. Animal form, human form, they spend karma. But humans are the only one who make karma. Animals cannot make karma, as we have discussed. So therefore, this human life is very rare. When you will get human form again, we do not know. It could be 10,000 births, 100 births, 1 birth, 1 million time birth. We don't know. So, Prahlad Maharaj says in 7th Canto, 6th uh, chapter, 1st verse of Srimad Bhagavadam, Kaumara pra acharit pragyo dharman bhagavatan iha durlabha manusha janma tat api adruvam artadam. This human body is very durlabham, very rare. Durlabha manusha janma, it is adruvam, it is not eternal, but artadam, but it's very purposeful. So, therefore, you should practice bhakti from Kaumaram, from a young age itself. And then as another verse in 11th canto Srimad Bhagavatam, 2nd chapter 29th verse, which says, Durlabha manusha deho, this human body is very rare. Dehinam shanabhangura. This body can be broken in one second. Very rare and very precious, very priceless. Right? So that is the value of this human body. Most importantly, Bhagavad Gita, 2nd chapter 40th verse, says a beautiful verse. Neha bikrama nasho asti pratyavayo na vidyate swalpam api asya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat. If one does a little Krishna conscious activities, it can save you from the greatest bhayam, the greatest fear. What is that greatest fear? Prabhupada explains in the purport gliding down to lower species, taking birth as a dog, as a cat, as a lizard, as a cockroach, as a rat. You know, that is the greatest horrible position. Because animal life is very much suffering. So, if one does a little bhakti somehow or other, a little chanting, a little prasadam, a little darshan, it can save one from the greatest fear of gliding down to animal life. And uh, in many places, Prabhupada writes, if one has taken prasadam very sincerely, he will definitely get a human birth in the next life. Now, human birth also could be, you could be born handicapped, you could be born poor, you could be born diseased, right? So, intelligent person would not risk a next life. You have already a human life. We have all got a good life. We can understand. We have some brains. We have some intelligence. Let's utilize this life. Let it be the last birth. Let us not gamble away with our lives. Hare Krishna.